October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, certainly something very important we need to touch on. There are more reasons for hope right now with the ongoing progress in the medical field. So joining us with some insight, we have Dr. Sonia Ali from Scripps MD Anderson Cancer Center. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Thank you for having me. Okay, so this is your specialty, focusing on breast cancer. And on this month, uh, we do want to highlight some positive news. If you can share with us, the is it the death rate that has now gone down? Absolutely. We're seeing a drop in the mortality rate for breast cancer. And that's because of new drug development. We have great new drugs now to treat breast cancer that specifically target cancer cells and avoid other non-cancerous cells so we can increase efficacy and decrease the side effect profile. Wow, so prior to this type of drug, it was really hard on a person's body, right? Absolutely, everybody knows what chemotherapy is. Mm -hmm. So now we have drugs that target a cell with a linker to release the chemotherapeutic right at the cancer wow. cell. What a game changer. Really and is. in your office that you've seen these patients coming through, how has it impacted them as they go through these treatments? It's, it's such a game changer. Yeah. They're able to continue with life as normal while receiving treatment. So life goes on. Okay. Yeah, when you hear the words you've been diagnosed with breast cancer, it can be terrifying. Absolutely. And we know this all too often. It happens to so many of our friends and family, uh, ourselves, you know, going through it. So tell us uh, now when you hear that diagnosis and you have to tell someone that diagnosis, yeah. does it feel a little better at least? Absolutely. You're okay. able to tell them that their survival rate over the next five years is going to be in excess of 90%. Wow. And one of the major things is that early detection is key. The earlier you're diagnosed, the better your prognosis. Okay. So, of course, you'll want to catch it early. Even with these new drugs, that doesn't mean put it off. Exactly. Okay. Please get in, get your annual yeah. mammogram done. And uh, when it comes to that, are, are people better about this now? I know we've done these kind of awareness campaigns for a few years now, quite a few, yeah. uh, but are they doing this appropriately? And after the pandemic, I know things kind of changed too. Yes, we're definitely seeing more patients come in for their screening mammogram, which should start at age 40. Mm -hmm. Don't put it off. Age 40. Get it done. Okay. Yes, and the, uh, the reason for that, tell us that. Why is, why is it so important when you're turn 40, just make that appointment? Absolutely, because early detection is key. Okay. Um, get your mammogram done once a year. The earlier it's diagnosed, the better treatment options you have. It's not preventing development of cancer, but it's allowing us to detect it earlier. And uh, as far as the rate of detection, has that changed at all? Or has it gone up or down? I mean, is there we, a way to gauge? We have seen an increased incidence of breast cancer diagnosis over the years. But again, we're coupling that with a decreased mortality. Okay, yeah, that, that's key. I mean, the fact that you can live with this and get through it Absolutely. and feel okay. And we're not talking people going through the extreme harshness, losing hair, their body becoming so weak. That's not necessarily the issue. Issue anymore as much? No, there's a wide spectrum of treatments available, and the earlier you're diagnosed, the less treatments that you'll require. Okay, that is a huge deal. Uh, these advancements happening, and people can get that trip treatment right here in town, right? Absolutely. We have at Scripps Clinic screening mammograms. Just call, get it done. Once you get it done, text your friends. Hey, mm -hmm. I just got my mammogram done. <laughs> have you done it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really is. All of my friends, we all turned uh, 40 a couple years ago, and it was like, book it now, get right. it done. We were very proud of of each other. Right, don't <laughs> overthink it, just yeah. schedule it. And it's not as painful, I will say, as what people are usually terrified of. Right, right. <laughs> and it's obviously the, the life-saving message is so important. Uh, during this month, too, is there any other messages you want to share with people out there, men and women? Yeah, um, things that you can do to help prevent this, mm -hmm. exercise. Get mm -hmm. 150 minutes a week, so five 30-minute walks a week. Try and decrease alcohol consumption. That's a big risk factor. And taking vitamin D. That's a great supplement. Okay, great to know. Dr. Ali, thank you so much. So I welcome. feel like uh, doctors like you make it seem so, you know, kind of not scary anymore. It's nice to get your perspective. You thank you for having ease me. Ease our minds. So thank you for being on with us today. And